I believe you're using Peerwise with one of your classes. Can you tell us what first attracted you to the tool? Well, it all started, I guess, nearly three years ago now when we started experimenting with students producing their own content. Um, that was actually in a fourth year nuclear physics course, myself and a colleague, Maria Luisa Aliotta, had the idea of why don't we let students produce some of their own content at that point to use with the, the, the clickers, with the electronic voting handsets we were using. And it proved quite successful, it proved popular with the students. They were saying the sorts of things that really helped them was thinking about what made a good question and how to write their own material. So from there I learnt about this, this tool called Peerwise uh, which had been developed in the University of Auckland, got in touch with Paul Denny, who uh, is the, the author of the system, uh, and said, you know, what do we have to do to be able to use it? He said, practically nothing, just I'll create you an account in 30 seconds, and, and there it was. And so we started using it with a first-year physics course, this year Physics 1A, which I've been involved with for, for quite some years now. Um, we actually substituted one of the assessments in the course, so students usually hand in an assessment every week doing tutorial type problems. Um, what we did was we substituted one of those for a peerwise exercise where they had to create a question of their own, answer a number of others and comment on and rate a num number of other people's as well. And does that assessment count towards their final grade? For it the does, course? it does, yeah. It's quite a small percentage, I think it's a few percent of the overall course grade, but it represents a week's worth of self-study effort, so it's commensurate with the, the sort of activity or the involvement that we'd expect from them on a weekly basis outside the taught classes for the course. And how have your students reacted to this? Well, generally very, very positively. We had an introductory session in the workshops that we run. So rather than just saying to the students, here's this system, here's your assessment, go create questions. We actually scaffolded it with about a half hour activity in the, in the workshops that students do, where we took them through in a group exercise the sorts of things they would need to think about in terms of coming up with the idea for a question. What makes a good question? Where do you look to find things that you don't understand? Well, the answer is you look just beyond what you can currently do. Um, so we got them to, to sort of walk through that process of creating questions and thinking about how to create questions. Uh, and then we let them loose on it. And their involvement was fantastic. We were getting you know, 70, 80 questions a day being created, hundreds of answers a day. It, it tends to pile up towards the assessment deadline, obviously, because uh, students are, are not that different from us. They tend to leave things right to the last minute. But they were, even, even in, I mean, there were sort of technical issues with, with physics. I think this was one of the first times that peerwise had been used with an equation editor for mathematical equations. And it's, it's, it's always hard to try and author maths on the web to provide, provide really quick and easy tools for students to do that. But, you know, they, 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 we got an equation editor in there, they're able to do it, and they produced some fantastic material. So good, in fact, that we, we took one of the questions and actually put that on the final exam for the course. So someone, somewhere, in Physics 1A helped us to, uh, to write one of the exam questions for the course. Brilliant. Do you believe it's making a difference to the students' understanding of the subject? Um, too early to say, really. Uh, what we are doing is we're looking at some of the same analysis that's been done before in terms of is there a correlation between participation and outcomes, say, on the end of course exam. So some courses, particularly in computer science, have claimed that there's a correlation. What we wanted to try and do was we wanted to see if we could improve the understanding of the sort of middle range ability of students on, on the course. So having just had the end of course exam, marked it, had the exam board, we're in the process of matching up that, that summative assessment data with measures of activity and involvement on, on the peerwise system to see if there is any correlation. Of course, correlation doesn't, doesn't establish causation, but at least if there is a link, we can then go back to students and say, look, involving yourself in, in you know, immersing yourself in doing these activities using this system will probably have a beneficial outcome to you. We'll look forward to seeing the results later on. Thank you very much.